Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 17th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Debits. As we glance down the debit side of the day's ledger, we should carefully examine our motives in each thought or act that appears to be wrong. In most cases, our motives won't be hard to see and understand. When prideful, angry, jealous, anxious, or fearful, we acted accordingly, and that was that. Here we need only recognize that we did act or think badly. Try to visualize how we might have done better and resolve with God's help to carry these lessons over into tomorrow, making, of course, any amends still neglected. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 94. Thought to Consider. Life is too short to be small. Acronyms. Dues. Desperately using everything but sobriety. Just for today, forgive myself from those other people. Just like you, I have often thought myself the victim of what other people say and do. Yet every time I confess the sins of such people, especially those whose sins did not correspond exactly with my own, I found that I only increased the total damage. My own resentment, my self-pity would often render me well-nigh useless to anybody. So nowadays, if anyone talks of me so as to hurt, I first ask myself if there is any truth at all in what they say. If there is none, I try to remember that I too have had my periods of speaking bitterly of others. That hurtful gossip is but a symptom of our remaining emotional illness, and consequently, that I must never be angry at the unreasonableness of sick people. Under very trying conditions, I have had again and again to forgive others also myself. Have you recently tried this? Letter, 1946, as Bill sees it, page 268. Daily Reflections, a daily tune-up. Every day is a day when we must carry the vision of God's will into all of our activities. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. How do I maintain my spiritual condition? For me, it's quite simple. On a daily basis, I ask my higher power to grant me the gift of sobriety for that day. I have talked to many alcoholics who have gone back to drinking, and I always ask them, Did you pray for sobriety the day you took your first drink? Not one of them said yes. As I practice step 10 and try to keep my house in order on a daily basis, I have the knowledge that if I ask for a daily reprieve, it will be granted. As Bill sees it, time versus money. Our attitude toward the giving of time, when compared with our attitude toward giving money, presents an interesting contrast. We give a lot of our time to AA activities for our own protection and growth, but also for the sake of our groups, our areas, AA as a whole, and above all, the newcomer. Translated into terms of money, these collective sacrifices would add up to a huge sum. But when it comes to the actual spending of cash, particularly for AA service overhead, Many of us are apt to turn a bit reluctant. We think of the loss of all that earning power in our drinking years, of those sums we might have laid by for emergencies or for education of the kids. In recent years, this attitude is everywhere on the decline. It quickly disappears when the real need for a given AA service becomes clear. Donors can seldom see what the exact result has been. They well know, however, that countless thousands of other alcoholics and their families are being helped. 12 Concepts, pages 64 to 65. Big Book Quote Most of us have been unwilling to admit we were real alcoholics. No person likes to think he is bodily and mentally different from his fellows. Therefore, it is not surprising that our drinking careers have been characterized by countless vain attempts to prove we could drink like other people. The idea that somehow, someday, he will control and enjoy his drinking is the great obsession of every abnormal drinker. The persistence of this illusion is astonishing. Many pursue it into the gates of insanity or death. Alcoholics Anonymous, More About Alcoholism, page 30. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. 
What am I going to do today for AA? Is there someone I should call upon on the telephone or someone I should go to see? Is there a letter I should write? Is there an opportunity somewhere to advance the work of AA, which I have been putting off or neglecting? If so, will I do it today? Will I be done with procrastination and do what I have to do today? Tomorrow may be too late. How do I know there will be a tomorrow for me? How about getting out of my easy chair and getting going? Do I feel that AA depends partly on me today? Meditation for the day. Today, look upward toward God, not downward toward yourself. Look away from unpleasant surroundings, from lack of beauty, from the imperfections in yourself and in those around you. In your unrest, behold God's calmness. In your impatience, God's patience. In your limitations, God's perfection. Looking upward toward God, your spirit will begin to grow. Then others will see something in you that they also want. As you grow in the spiritual life, you will be enabled to do many things that seemed too hard for you before. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may keep my eyes trained above the horizon of myself. I pray that I may see infinite possibilities for spiritual growth. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.